Jonathan and Camille from Pet Massage. Today we're going to be talking about Massage with the Athletic and the Active Dog. So how are you working out? Look at that buff little body. Active dogs, athletic dogs, these are some of the primary people that I see in my practice of canine massage. When you think of athletic dogs, you're usually thinking of the sport dogs that would be in agility, competing in fly ball, that would be hunting, uh, that would be racing. These are most of the dogs you see. So these are timed events and the dogs have to move very precisely, have to move as fast as they can. If their timing is off, then uh, immediately the massage therapist is called in to see what is wrong, what, what is going on with the muscles, what's going on with the, with the tendons, what's happening in the joints, what's happening with my dog, because I want my dog to do well when they compete. So those are the active dogs. The ones that I see in my practice are primarily house pets, dogs that play too hard at uh, doggy daycares. We had a uh, dog that came in just a, about a month ago who uh, wasn't paying attention and got T-boned by another dog and he woke up the next morning and he could barely move. That happens a lot at, do at daycares. Dogs just play hard at dog parks. As you see here in this video with Ilaria, she's just running flat out, you know, and the other dogs are running to keep up with her. Sometimes when she runs, she runs with faster dogs and so she has to struggle to, to, to maintain that speed. So she's running out of her league. Sometimes uh, afterwards, she'll just be really tired uh, next day she may be sore. There's always the possibility that the dogs get injured a little bit. They could step in a hole, they could trip, they could tumble. So there's all sorts of things that happen at the playground. And so what massage does is helps bring these dogs back into balance. So the things that we're working with with massage are these four items here. This is our focus, our goal for, for uh, canine massage especially with the, the active dogs is to increase flexibility or bring it back into uh, where it was. We want to increase the dog's comfort, we want to increase the strength, and we want to increase the confidence in movement. So I remember there was one time where uh, there was a dog at the park and he got into a fight. Next time he came back he was really apprehensive about moving into that park. The dogs remember from one time to another. So, uh, and I remember one time when I was uh, walking down the street and I stubbed my toe. Okay, every time I walk past that place right now, I'm a little leery about where I step. So confident movement is really important. And with massage, that's one of the things that we can do is retrain the body to be more comfortable and confident in their, in their movement, confident in the body. And that's done by bringing awareness to the dog. And I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you some of the things that we do with it with an active dog massage. So fortunately we're working with Ilaria here and she's a super buff, very healthy little dog, but super healthy dogs need massage as well because they need to maintain that sense of strength and flexibility and comfort and confidence in movement. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring awareness to her body. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assess for temperature, any variations, noticeable variations in uh, the way that the receptivity of the skin to my touch or body to my touch. I'm gonna to notice for any kind of muscle knots, any bumps, any patches in the hair that may be unusual. So I'm just gonna go over the dog's body. You're just gonna give a general assessment of how the dog is today. Because she's gonna be different in 20 minutes when we get down off this table because she will have had the memory of a massage. That's, that's a good thing. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of frictioning, increase circulation to the major joints. Major joints would be the one right here at the neck, shoulders, hips. So just, cause these are the, the major movers of the body and we're gonna just kind of increase that with some frictioning and some joint mobilization. And she needs to have a flexible spine so we're gonna take and we're gonna scratch up and down the spine as well. She appears to be liking this. So what's the difference between this massage and every other massage I get? Well, the difference is it's specifically geared for an active, strong, healthy, powerful, well-muscled dog. So if this is the case, then we're also gonna be very much, very alert for particular areas where, they, where, where injuries happen. So I'm gonna be paying close attention to the, to the hocks, to the uh, stifles, be paying close attention to the point of the shoulder, the elbows, the wrists, the neck. So I'm just gonna be paying close attention to 
every part of this little dog. A lot of the dogs I work with are Border Collies and Whippets, Greyhounds, and of course, the lovely Boxer. You know I love the Boxer, yes. And do you love me? Yes, you do. <laughs> so that's your uh, active dog massage. I hope it helps you and helps you with, your, with working with your active dog. You'll find people practicing active dog massage or athletic dog massage at every agility uh, event. Anywhere there's a dog show, you're probably gonna find someone who does canine massage and a lot of them have been trained here at the Pet Massage School. So I hope this helps you. Thank you very much for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel, and that's Pet Massage Training and Research Institute, and I'll see you next time. Did you like that? Did you like that? Was that good? <laughs>